Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make a grassy field, grassy plain, using the grass wallet add-on. So, um, first thing you want to do is install the add-on. Um, once you have it downloaded, which I assume you do, I'll leave the link in the description below. I shouldn't say I assume you do, you probably don't, but just download it from the link in the description below, it'll walk you through all the steps. Um, I'm using the free version, so pretty much everything I do in this video, you can be do without paying for it. But if you want to, it's a really cool add-on, I would recommend buying it. But to install it, all we have to do is go up here to the top left where it says edit. Click edit and then go down to preferences. And then add-ons and then click install. And then just go to wherever you have it downloaded. It'll be right here, Graswald add-on, do not unzip, or whatever it's called for you. And then just click install add-on. And then once you have it installed, um, it'll be right here. Just click this check mark. For some reason, um, it says I have it disabled, but I do have it enabled. But just click this check mark and then click save preferences down here. And once you have that installed, what we're going to do is we're going to make a plane. So our plane, what we're going to do is we are going to just get this plane and we're going to S and then 5. We're going to hit S on the keyboard and then 5. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to hit tab and then we're going to right click and then click subdivide. I'm going to subdivide it about 60 times. And so the reason we're subdividing it is we're just going to give a little bit of, uh, we're going to use sculpting to give it a little bit of like depth uh, to where it's not just flat. So what we're going to do is go up here to the tabs um, and where it says sculpting, click sculpting. And then you have this. Uh, go ahead and turn off X symmetry up here by this little butterfly thing. Turn that off and you can hit F on your keyboard to resize it. And we're just going to kind of, just kind of sculpt this around to where it's not completely flat and once we have that oops once we have that we can hit shift s and then we can smooth these out a little bit just to where it's not completely flat and then once we have that we have our plane we have our basic shape of the plane and now what we can do is we can hit n on our keyboard to bring up this little menu uh, down here you should see uh, Graswald or try Graswald just click that and now you have this menu right here all you have to do is just click this little plus icon and give it a second and now you have this so we have our grass right here and we have our species and variants so under species what you can do is you can click uh, one of these the full grass wall version has a lot more to choose from but we're just going to use these for now and then the variants uh, you have different variants um, you can change them to whatever you really want with them. Uh, this one is kind of like a patchy, dead kind of stuff. Uh, it's cut. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to stay with that original one. And what we can do is we can change the density up to maybe something like 100. 100 ish looks good. Um, and then once we have that, what we can do, um, resolution, we can change our resolution and stuff to high, low, or proxy. A viewport, we can change the high, low, or proxy, and then workbench and stuff like that. And once we have that, I'm actually going to change the density to maybe like 125. And once we have that, we have our grass right here. Um, not fully set up, but this is where uh, we're starting from. And next, we're going to get a ground texture. So the way I like to do that is I like to go to cc0textures.com. And cc0textures.com is a very cool site um, for um, PBR textures. They're completely free. They're CC0, Creative Commons. You can use them for anything, commercial or non-commercial. It's pretty cool. So I'm just going to look up ground. And once I have that, um, we can just pick a ground. So I'm going to pick this one because I kind of like how this one looks. And I'm just going to put uh, pick like 4K JPEG. And once you click that, it'll download. Um, depending on your internet speed, um, it might take a little bit. My internet speed is actually a lot higher than this. It's just this website. Just I guess the bandwidth is like not that good. But once we have this, what we can do is we can just extract this to somewhere like our desktop. And click OK. And then what we can do is we can select our plane. And we can hit Tab you and then you and unwrap and that unwraps our plane and basically what unwrapping does it basically tells blender um like a texture is supposed to go on there like how to map the texture to the plane 
And so now what we can do is we can go over here to shading. And we can click a new on our plane. And give it a second. There's a lot of particles in this. Um, and then once we have our plane, we have this principal BSDF right here. Um, actually, what I'm going to do for the sake of not destroying my computer is I'm just going to duplicate this window over here. And the way you do that, I didn't mention that just a second ago. You just go up here to the top left to where your cursor turns into a crosshair. Click and then drag. It splits your window. Then go over here to this little ball and grid and then just go to shader editor. And so now we have the shader editor. The reason I'm using this is not the shading tab is so it's not rendering and I don't have a lot of issues with my computer. But once we have this here, this is your basic shader. Um, and if you haven't already, you should enable Node Wrangler. And it's an add-on that comes with Blender. It makes texturing and just nodes in general a lot easier. And so you can click Edit and then Preferences, Add-ons, and just type in Node. And you'll see Node Wrangler. Just click Check on it, enable it, and save Preferences. Once you have Node Wrangler enabled, you can hit, uh, click our Principal BSDF. Hit Control, Shift, and T. This will bring up this Principal Texture Setup. Go to Desktop. Find wherever your moss is, and then just click Principal Texture Setup, and that will automatically put everything in how it should be. And so that's pretty cool. And right now, I'm going to switch to Cycles, and then switch to GPU Compute, and delete this light, and I'm going to add an area light right here, just to see how it looks now. We're going to add an HDR right here in a second. Uh, but I'm just going to change the power to maybe 500 and then change the size to 5. And then what we can do is we can go in a rendered view. And we can see that our grass is looking pretty cool right now. Um, so this is how our grass is looking so far. And what we can do is uh, we can click plus again. Or no, we select a plane and then click for plus again. And this will give us a new grass um, kind of thing and then what we can do is we can change the grass type uh, to something else um, now we have two different grass types right here and then you can change the seed around and then change the density to maybe 75 and so now we have this grass down here as well uh, I'm actually going to change the density to maybe 100 just so we have this so we have all this grass here, and then we can change to whatever we want right here. Uh, once we have this, I'm going to uh, I'm going to add a new one, and then basically use the same thing that I did for this, uh, but instead I'm going to add flowers. And so we have the flowers now. You might be able to see them like through here and stuff. And then we can change the density of these to maybe like 50. Um, change the seed around if you want. Um, and once we have that, we can go ahead and save in case it crashes. It might not crash, but in case it does, we can just save it as like grass. Um, and once we have that, we can go back into rendered view and we can see what we have so far. And so this is what we have so far. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, we have this like grassy plane type thing. Um, and then I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add another grass particle system and then use basically the same thing that I just did. But I'm going to use um, the dead uh, type leaves. I'm going to change the density to 100. And so that'll put it all around here. And then I'm going to change the seed. I could also change the maybe to like 150 to where we have it like all through here. And once we have that, what we can do is we can go back into render mode. You see what we have now. Um, and this is what we have now. Um, it's looking pretty good. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get an HDRI. So I'm going to go to hdriheaven.com slash HDRIs. And now we have all these HDRIs. So this one looks pretty good. Uh, good. Uh, just find one that kind of looks like you're seeing. This is a grassy meadow. It's a grassy plain. This should be good. Um, you don't have to download a very high resolution one. Uh, I'm just going to download it and see where I saved it. It's in my main drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little world icon right here. And then under color, uh, we just on color click this yellow dot and then go to environment texture. And then click open. And then go to wherever you have it. Uh, mine is right here. And then once we have that, what we're going to do is go into rendered mode. 
and then we can see that it is giving lighting data to our scene. So this is what it's looking like right now. It's looking pretty cool. Um, I actually might change the densities of these to a little more. Just so we're filling up a little bit more space. And stuff like that. It could add all types of different grass. I'm probably going to add one more. Um, and then put these as whatever this one is. This one looks like it'll be like a kind of ground grass type thing. Yeah, small. And then change the density of this to like 75. And yeah, that kind of covers a lot of the ground texture. The ground texture, we don't really want a lot of focus on. The ground texture is just there so we have something um, underneath it. And my cat is in here. Um, so excuse me one second. All right, I'm back. The cat is now out of the room. But back to what I was saying, uh, the ground texture, we don't really want a lot of focus on. That's just there to kind of fill in to where there's actually something under it. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our lighting. So I want this area light. I want this to be kind of like an orangey area light. And then I'm probably going to duplicate this area light and put it over here. And I'm not sure if this will exactly work how I'm intending it to, but we're going to try anyway. You can see this is very hardware intensive, so. Viewports. But yeah, maybe I want the camera angle to be kind of like right here. And then just move the camera. Change the focal length a little bit. Not that much. Um, we can see what it looks like in the camera. So, uh, this is what it's looking like right now. Um, it's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to change the camera angle a little bit. To where we have, like more view of like the flowers and stuff maybe something like this nah something like that maybe just kind of putting it up like that then we can go into rendered view and we can see how this looks and that's looking pretty good um uh, that's looking like actually really good for grass um, so that's basically this tutorial um, on how to make like a grassy kind of meadow or grassy like scene in blender so thanks guys so much for watching uh, my name is Michael from Polygon Island if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below I love answering you guys questions I read every comment you guys leave uh, sometimes I can't answer questions and I'm really sorry about that but if it's a question I can answer I'll answer it but uh, also make sure to subscribe and like the video. Those help get my videos out to a lot more people. But thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.